Good morning, my beautiful brothers and sisters in Yeshua. Today is the 24th of November, uh, Friday. It's 10 10 a.m. here in Australia. I hope you're doing well and I hope you've been blessed. Brothers and sisters, I am on cloud nine. I am so incredibly on fire at the moment. Okay, last night I uploaded a pretty long video. It's two hours and 48 minutes. Um, and I called I called the video, I called a ceasefire on 11.11 and it will come to pass, the most incredible revelations I've ever had. Please go and check this video out, but I'm, I'm going to make this video shorter and try and condense it into a shorter uh, video for you guys so that more people will see this. Okay, so I've been studying for the last week or so um, because for the last video I did previous to this one, I was talking about Revelation chapter 11 where it's talking about the two witnesses and how I was saying that, you know, the two witnesses are the olive trees and the olive trees. You can read all about that in, in Zechariah 4 to see what the olive trees are. And it's um, God's people, the Israelites, okay? And that's, that's the tree and they've had branches that have been broken off. And then you can read the, in the New Testament in Romans 11, okay you can read about how we the christians the gentiles we are the wild olives that have been grafted onto that olive tree and it says because of god's children the israelites because of their unbelief we are able to be grafted on to that olive tree beautiful 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 and the lampstands the candlesticks they you read about that in uh, the first chapter of revelation it, it gives you a description of what the candlesticks are they are the churches okay so basically you have the two witnesses and that is the jews and the gentiles or the israelites the true israelites and the true children of god okay the, the gentiles the bride anyway so i've been studying to all this you need to come over and watch this video i know um there's only so much i can bring to you in a shorter video but long story short you need to go onto um, biblegateway.com and select the Geneva Bible translation and that has footnotes that come alongside it and it will blow your mind um, I'll give you an example we'll just go to um, Revelation 13 or we'll go hang on we'll go to Revelation 20 and this is the Geneva Bible translation and you can see here Oops, sorry. One second. And you can see here where it's um, talking about, I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus. You click on the footnote. Okay, it opens up and it says, these are the martyrs which suffered in the first times. So brothers and sisters, all these videos that I've been, been bringing across to you about how I believe that, you know, we've been lied to, where the church fathers have taught us that there's a thousand years in the future and basically God's going to hit pause button, we're going to chill with him for a thousand years and then he's going to, you know, restart this whole thing again in a thousand years time. That's so wrong, brothers and sisters. And this is what... This is what the truth is, is through the Geneva Bible. I did a video back in March of this year, 2023, and on this video here, I've linked it. Okay, I've linked all the things here, all my previous videos. I did a whole thing of why the Geneva Bible is superior to King James. Did you know that Bloody Mary, um, this is the Queen of England, okay, Queen Mary Stuart, she had the nickname Bloody Mary because she was just horrific. Do you know that's King James's mother? Okay, and it's actually the people who came on the Mayflower, um, they fled English persecution. That's why they came on the Mayflower and went to Plymouth. Oh, it's incredible. Anyway, I've got all the evidence that you need in this, in this video here, okay? Um, but I'm just trying to keep this short. So here's the amazing thing, brothers and sisters. I did a bunch of videos. Um, I did one on, um, when was it? Oh, I can't even remember now. It was two, three weeks ago and I called it 11.11, a countdown to our redemption, a ceasefire, the pale green horse, the bride meets the groom. Okay, obviously on our Gregorian date, the 11th of the 11th came and went. But check this out. Brother Steve Fletcher did a, a video just recently, yesterday, and he was showing the conversion from the Julian date, 
to our Gregorian date. The Julian calendar is 13 days behind. And who called a cease? Remember I said on that ceasefire will happen on the 11th of the 11th, okay? Because for World War I and World War II both had a ceasefire and stopped the war on that date. What do you know? This was yesterday's article, okay? Israel and Hamas ceasefire to begin tomorrow morning. Okay, so this is basically um, the ceasefire will begin on the Friday the 24th of November. So what was Friday the 24th of November? The 11th of November on the Julian calendar. And the Julian calendar was the calendar in the time of Christ. Okay, this is what's so amazing. And get this, brothers and sisters. Get this, not only is it verifying the ceasefire that um, Father showed me and I predicted, only through Father's glory, but I also have a video too um, that talks about on, on October the 6th, oh, sorry, on October the 5th I made this video and I said something very significant was going to happen on October the 7th, okay? Now, obviously the war in Israel started on October the 7th, so that's absolutely incredible. Now, if you take October the 7th and you minus those 13 days, guess what, brothers and sisters? It was the 23rd of, November, uh, of September, the very date that I also said that, you know, something huge and significant was going to happen. It could possibly be war, it could possibly be the rapture. There you go. So, so much stuff, so much stuff. I, um, basically, we've got here to, um, if you type in Alexa, you know, the um, everybody knows what Alexa is. Ask Alexa when World War Three will start. Okay, I don't want to play it here because I've got my sound system all mucked up at the moment. But if you ask her when World War Three will start, she will say the 23rd of November. Okay, that's Thanksgiving. And you guys, we're having a look at the world clock here. Okay, I'll just refresh it. Okay, everybody is in, um, you know, everybody, uh, well, New York. America is still in on uh, Thanksgiving at the moment, okay, and then you had the uh, Rainbow Bridge, okay, get this, the Rainbow Bridge explosion, this was absolutely incredible, this was very significant, brothers and sisters, I'll tell you why, because uh, the Rainbow Bridge, a brother had sent me an email to let me know. I heard about this last night on a TikTok. Someone was trying to tell someone else about this and they're saying, oh, it was just a vehicle accident, you know, and other people say, no, it was a terrorist attack. And I didn't think anything more of it. But this morning I got a, um, an email from my dear brother, Bill, and he was saying about the Rainbow Bridge, could this possibly be the rainbow to do with the arc, right? The door is closing, the Rainbow Bridge. Okay, a bridge is like a way to something, right? And it got destroyed. It got destroyed, brothers and sisters. So is this Father's way of saying, um, you know, the Rainbow Bridge is closing, okay? And also, too, these people who were on this, um, who, who died in this uh, vehicle explosion, okay, and it wasn't just a vehicle explosion, you should have seen the footage, I don't want to show the footage now, but go and check it out, this car flies 100 miles an hour, flips and flies in the air, the explosion was like a nuclear bomb, it was like unbelievable, and guess what, these people were coming back from a KISS concert, straight away when I read that, Father put into my mind about how Judas betrayed Christ with a kiss before, you know, before his crucifixion. Is this the end, brothers and sisters? Is this legit the end? So, um, I mean, this is amazing. This is amazing. So not one, but two dates. So effectively, again, um, you know, and what else I was saying in this video too, thanks to my brother on um, God, um, what is it, what channel? Um, Oh, God's Roadmap to the End. Okay, I've got all the links here. God's Roadmap to the End. He was looking at November 27th. And what's incredible about that is that the ceasefire happens on Friday, the 24th of November, which is really 11 11. 
um, when he said, you know, it looks very high possibility for November 27th, that is a full moon, brothers and sisters. And Proverbs 7.20 said the good man is on a journey and he's going to return on a full moon. Is this the three days? Is this the three days, brothers and sisters, the three days warning? Is there going to be a ceasefire? And then there's a three day warning until, um, you know, until the full moon when he comes back. You know, if, if, if the 27th on the full moon comes and goes, because think about this, if they call a ceasefire, I know that Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu doesn't want to really call this ceasefire, but the whole world has been, you know, saying ceasefire now, ceasefire now. And so basically, I don't think he really wants to do it. But can you imagine the, um, you know, that Hamas could actually use this to their advantage? They have a ceasefire and it's supposed to be for four days of truth, you know. So no shooting each other while in those four days they're supposed to be getting hostages out and everything like this. But Hamas doesn't care. Hamas doesn't care. What if they go in? What if this is the peace and safety and then boom, sudden destruction? Okay. What if it happens on the third day? What if it happens on the third day? They think they've got four days of truce. Then it happens on the third day on the full moon. I mean, this is this is crazy, brothers and sisters, absolutely crazy. So, um, and also November 24th, November, right? As Steve Fletcher has mentioned here, November comes from the word nov, which means nine. So it's 924, which is Haggai chapter two. I, the Lord God, will shake the heavens on the earth on the ninth month on the 24th day. This is unbelievable, brothers and sisters. This is so exciting. So, so very exciting. So, again, please come watch this video. So much more information to do with the King James Bible and why it is, there's a huge deception with it. Please believe me, I know. And just keep in mind, brothers and sisters, how deceived. This is why the first thing that Christ said was, take heed that no man deceives you. Have a look at the history of this man, okay, and why he wrote this book and the things that he's taken out. Great example, you know, the the verse where it says uh, we fight not against flesh and blood but against principalities of the air well the Geneva uh, the King James actually took this particular verse out of that and what it's supposed to say which is in the Geneva Bible it says um, for we do not fight against flesh and blood but for the worldly governments and the prince and principalities of the air I tell you what brothers and sisters the King James, he did not want anybody against his, um, against the monarch, against his kingship. Okay, just like Herod, just like Herod. That's why he had all the babies killed when Christ was born. Anybody under the age of two, any male, he had them killed. I am not kidding you, brothers and sisters. And this is exactly why they tell us that the King James is the only authoritative Bible that all churches should use. That alone should put alarm bells in your spirit. So again, please come over, watch this video and have a look at how, um, how incredible um, the Geneva Bible translation is and how it shows you that all of this stuff, all of this stuff, brothers and sisters, has already come to pass. This is why, you know, these, these preterists and stuff who said, oh, the whole book of Revelations has been fulfilled. They've got a really good point. The only thing that hasn't been fulfilled, brothers and sisters, is obviously, um, you know, Satan and the beast and the prophet getting cast into the lake of fire and the new heaven and the new earth coming down. That's very obvious, okay? Very, very obvious. But that this is the good news, brothers and sisters. We are living in Satan's little season where it says here what happens in his little season when he's released out of the prison. He's going to go up to see the people which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them to battle whose number is the sands of the sea. Um, so what's that? The four quarters of the earth, even to Gog and Magog, to gather them to battle. This is happening legit right now. Right now, brothers and sisters, we're told in Luke 21 that when you therefore see the armies surrounding Jerusalem, okay, you know the desolation thereof is nigh. What's desolation? Destruction. It's happening right now, brothers and sisters, the, the enemy, the Satan, evil, 
you know, the church fathers, the fat, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they they can't enter into heaven, so they're forbidding us to go into by giving us doctrines of devils and lies about where we are in time. This is absolutely mind blowing, and I'm so thankful to Almighty God. And all praises go to His holy name, Jehovah, and His beautiful Son. Yeshua Jesus Christ all glory goes to them but this is happening right now we are at the cusp of the end of the end of the end okay because what happens after this once they look brothers and sisters the whole world has to side who are they siding with Palestine or Israel 98% of them are siding with Palestine the whole world is coming against Israel this ceasefire this false sense of peace and safety will be a high marker and then you have in um, in Revelation 13 with the two, uh, sorry, Revelation 11 with the two witnesses. This is a mother perfect example. Okay, what are they doing? What are they doing when the uh, the the bodies, the dead bodies, are lying on the street for three and a half days? Three and a half days, brothers and sisters, their dead bodies will lie on the streets. Okay, what did Jesus say to the Pharisees and Sadducees of his day? They, they asked Jesus for a sign and he said, you wicked and adulterous generation, the only sign that you're going to get is the sign of Jonah. Because as Jonah was in the belly of the whale for three and a half days, so shall the Son of Man be in the belly of the earth for three and a half days. Believe you me, those wicked synagogue of Satan people, they have held on to this prophecy and they're just about to be revealed to it. Okay, when these people have um, going to see these dead people who are resurrected after three and a half days, they're going to know that Christ was real. And this is going to cause them uh, absolute just gnashing of teeth, gnashing of teeth. Okay, and these people, uh, they ascend up to heaven in a cloud. Okay, and all of their enemies will see them. Then there's a giant earthquake. The city fell. Okay, that giant earthquake is seal 6 in Revelation 6. This is also what I talk about in my video, how I correlate everything in the book of Revelation is matching each other. It's all talking about the same story, just like the Gospels do. Okay, the Gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, they're all the same story, just in a different context. The same thing is happening in the book of uh, Revelation. Okay, so this is the end. Okay, there's this great earthquake. And then it says, um, you know, that um, that wrath has come to them. Look, see, and the Gentiles were angry and the wrath has come. What does it say in Revelation 6? After the men run to the caves and ask the rocks to fall on them, they're like, oh, hide us from the face of the one who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb because the great day of their wrath has come. This is it, brothers and sisters. There's no more second chances. There's not a second chance. There's no left behind people. You're either in this, you're either on Noah's Ark or you're not. But the door is about to close. I don't know if it has closed already. I don't know if it's about to close. I, I don't think it's closed just yet because I wouldn't have this fervency in my heart to preach this message and get it out to you right now. But look, you know, and it's time that the dead should be judged. This is it, brothers and sisters. This is it. This is it. This is why when it says that... Um, in Revelation chapter 9 okay that the bottomless pit gets opened and what comes out a great smoke and a fiery furnace and it says the sun and the air were darkened by this this is in seal 6 in Revelation 6 this is the reason why the sun goes black as sackcloth because of the great smoke that comes out of the pit and the great fiery furnace is what is changing the the full moon the full moon, which possibly could be on the 27th, okay, it could possibly be, brothers and sisters, um, it would change it blood red from the great fiery furnace. And look at Iceland. I did a video showing you that Iceland was the place that Christians for centuries have been saying is the gateway to hell. And look at Iceland at the moment. The volcanoes, the earthquakes, it's on fire. It's about to explode. So... This is amazing. I had to get all this to you. There's probably so much I want to share with you, but I don't want to make this long. I just wanted to bring this to you because this is incredible. November 24th, when Israel 
and hummus will have a ceasefire, which I which I call because Father showed me that on the 11th of the 11th will be a ceasefire, Remembrance Day. Okay, World War One, World War Two, they both finished on the 11th of the 11th. Okay, they had ceasefire. Same like the first temple and the second temple, both on the same day, the ninth above. This is incredible. Please, if you have time, put it on in the background while you're doing your, your housework, your, your whatever. Just please, brothers and sisters, there's so much stuff. There's so many good things. I show the, the family relationship of Bill Gates. Okay, He's, it goes all the way back to the William the Conqueror, who is the, the white horse. Okay, it's the first seal. All the seals have been opened. Okay, well, the first three have, okay. We're at the end of the black one now. The black one, that's why it's got scales in it. It's probation. It's closing, brothers and sisters. The books will be closed very soon, if not already. So please, 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 make right with Father. Make right with the Son, because we're, we're not mucking around here. This is it. Remember, you know, all this left behind doctrine. Yes, I was a big believer in that. And now Father's showing me. Look at the the parable of the ten virgins, right? They both loved the Lord, the wise and the foolish. They both loved the Lord. They both fell asleep. But when the time came, the wise had enough oil and they went in and the door was shut. And the other ones came, right, the foolish ones, and they knocked on the door and said, Lord, Lord, let us in, let us in, please. And Jesus said, go away, I don't know you. And then there was, they were left in outer darkness with weeping and gnashing of teeth. That's not a second chance, brothers and sisters. And oh, how I wish you were hot or cold, but because you're lukewarm, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. That is not a second chance. It's, you know, it, it says in the scriptures, you know, be gentle with people. And then with others, you have to pull them out of the fire. Now we have got to start pulling people out of the fire, brothers and sisters, because we are coming to the last seconds. Okay, the last seconds. I love you so much. May Father bless you. Please come over and watch this video. Even if you watch it in half an hour increments, it doesn't matter. But so much good information and all praises go to the Most High Jehovah and His beautiful Son, Yeshua Jesus Christ. I love you so much. And you are my world, brothers and sisters. You are my world down here and my everything. Okay? I serve the kingdom of heaven so that you, my beautiful brothers and sisters, can know these truths. But please come over to see the evidence in case you're like, oh, hogwash, you know, what are you talking about, woman? <laughs> I have got all the evidence and all the proof here. So please come over and watch this video. All right. I love you, brothers and sisters. If I don't see you in the next video, I will see you in the skies. God bless you. I love you. Bye-bye.